Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to welcome you all here to the Blue Forge Forum in the beautiful city of Dar es Salaam. The Blue Food Forum is the occasion to reiterate our call for strong partnerships, to build solid foundations and ensure a bright future for the development of fisheries and aquaculture in the OACPS. Our main role is to feed the world, to fight undernourishment. Now, in this context, there's been a lot of uh, attention being put on aquatic foods, a spotlight on aquatic foods. The main objective of the event uh, is really to work together in looking at how fisheries and aquaculture value chains can help contribute to transform our global food systems. So in terms of financing, um, one thing that we've come to understand is that uh, most fish farmers do not take fish farming as a business. We are a reliable and long-term partner. We set up a new global program, Sustainable aquatic foods to spread good examples to other regions and countries. When you walk through the exhibit, there was basically a whole variety of activities going on in Fish for ACP and other projects that have been seen to be very successful. So the question we have this morning that we're going to be discussing is what are the success factors? What do we not want to do again and what do we want to do again to make sure that our work counts for those who, you know, who matter the most, which is our beneficiaries? In our fisher community, we have a huge problem of post-harvest losses of daga fish. The mitigation measure for post-harvest losses is to introduce the solar drying technology. Too many people overlook a crucial fact that fisheries and aquaculture are an integral part to sustainable development. They are a pillar of global food security and nutrition. They have a vast potential in delivering sustainable healthy diets, providing income, particularly in remote, rural and coastal areas where few alternatives exist. I understand that the Fish for ACP project has done a wonderful job in 12 countries for the past four years in strengthening the fisheries and aquaculture value chains in those countries. I urge that the best practices and lessons learned from these projects to be upscaled to other areas within the OACP countries for other communities to benefit from it.